Yo, what's up guys, Elixir here, and today we will be building this Snowfoot Southern 6920 SD60E Heritage Unit. It was requested by a guy named Noah on my YouTube videos, and here it is. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good, so let's get into the tutorial. Hold up, there we go, very good. <laughs> Alright, so first we'll make the wheels, just my normal wheels, place any block right there, then spruce wood stairs upside down right there, and just like that, and then scoop a block, place any block again, and make the wheels again, like this. <clears throat> do it again, just like that, then you'll grab some hoppers. And you want to make them so they're facing inwards to the wheels, like this. So make it like this. Just just like that. <clears throat> then you'll grab a nether brick slab and place it in between each hopper. And then place another brick slab on the ends right here on the wheels also. Just like that. All right, and then we'll make the plow right here. So you want to grab black concrete and make a two by five with it right here. So just like this. And then you want to come out one block and then make a two by three uh, out of red wool, like this. Then get acacia wood stairs, place them upside down there and red wool on top, just like that. And then we'll make the stairs for the train. So grab oak wood slabs and place them like this. And place black concrete right there. Alrighty. So next we'll move on to the gas tank. <clears throat> so what you want to do here is you want to grab some black concrete. And on the rail you want to go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just like that. You grab another brick cert, place it upside down along these blocks right here. Just like that. <clears throat> and do it on this side. Just like that. <clears throat> and then we'll place four blocks of black concrete. So one, two, three, four. And then finish that off with another brick stairs right there. And on the other side, you want to do the same thing. Just like that. Alrighty. So now we'll make the trucks and wheels again. So you're all done with the gas tank. So, you want to place a nether slab right there. And then make the wheels. Spruce stairs like that. Place that one wrong, like that. Skip block, place them. Just like that. And then place hoppers facing inwards. Just like that. <clears throat> And then put another brick slabs in between them, just like this. Alrighty. So now we'll do the plows on the back. So you want to make another two by six of black concrete, just like this. And then come out one block and make a two by three black concrete still. And then grab another brick stair, place it upside down right there, and black concrete on top. Just like that, and then make the stairs for the train once again. And black concrete in the middle, just like that. <clears throat> Alrighty, so we're almost done. We'll just fill this in and make the walkways. So, so what you want to do is make is this three blocks wide and fill it in with black concrete. So just go all the way down three blocks wide. Just like this. Then the final row. 
just like that. Alrighty. And now we will do the walkways. So you want to grab quartz slabs for this. Just place them like this. So it's like that. Then do it on this side also. Just like this. Just like that. <clears throat> and there we go. That's it for the bottom of the train. So now we will be working on the cab and the nose. So what we want to do for the nose is we want to grab some blue concrete. And you want to place a, let's see, a 3x3 right here of it. Just like that. <clears throat> then right here you want to place lapis lazuli block right there. Then place blue co concrete on top. Just like that. Then right here you want to place some TNT. Just like that. And then you want to place blue concrete on top of the TNT. And also like this. So it's two blocks long for the nose. Then you want to grab stumbert slabs and place them along this right here. Just like that. Alrighty. So now what you want to do is you want to grab your blue concrete once again. You want to go make a, a one by three going up right here. So one, two, three. One, two, three. Just like that. Then grab some blue shulker boxes. Place two of them right here. And then place two blocks of blue concrete on top. <clears throat> then a pillar of blue concrete going four blocks up. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Just like that. And then you'll get some white concrete and place it right here for the numbers. Alrighty. So now we'll make the glass and the windows and all that. So what you want to do is grab some black stained glass place two of them right there and two like that and place blue concrete right there in between it and then grab black stained glass and place them like this or black stained glass paints that's what I mean so it's like this alrighty now we'll move on to the roof so what you want to do for the roof is firstly grab some acacia wood stairs and you want to place five along the roof like this so one two, three, four, five. And yes, it's supposed to overhang right here. That's how it is on the locomotive. Don't know why, but yeah. And do it on this side. And then you want to fill it in with red wool. Just like this. Alrighty. Then you want to place a whatever block right there. And then place a birch fence gate facing inwards like that. And then break that block. Just like that. <clears throat> Alrighty. So that, now that's it for the cab. And now we'll move it on to this tricky or more difficult part. I'll say that. So first what you want to do right here is you want to place a one block of blue concrete right there. And then you want to come around to the other side. And grab some blue stained glass panes, place two of them like that, and yeah. So now what you want to do here is grab some blue concrete, and go all the way to the top of this roof right here, so one, two, three, four, five, like that, go on this side, just like that, and make it like that. Alrighty, so the next we'll grab some red concrete, place one right there, then place black concrete and then a white concrete like that. Then place black concrete on the other side too. So it's like that. Then place two blocks of red concrete on top of the black and white. Like that. And then you want to place some TN two blocks of TNT right here also. Just like that. And then you want to place some more black concrete going all the way down it so it goes all the way to the back just like this and have it wrap around like that 
Just make it so it's like this. Alrighty. And then you'll grab some white concrete, place two right here, and then on the other side, then place a red concrete right there, and then a blue concrete in red and blue. So hopefully it's looking like this so far. Alright. And then you want to place a 1x3 of black concrete right here and have one sticking up like that. So it's like that. And place white concrete right here. And then place two blocks of red concrete on top of that white and blue right there. So it's like that. Alright. And then you'll place some more TNT here. Place two blocks of it right here. Just like that. <clears throat> and then you'll get to your white concrete again and place five blocks of it right here. So one, two, three, four, five. And that's the words on the side of it. And do it on this side also. Just like that. Alrighty. So now what we'll do is place another block of white concrete right here. Place red concrete on top of that, which you just placed. And then grab some yellow concrete and place it right here for the ribbon that's on it. And then white concrete on top. So it's like that. Hopefully it's looking like this so far. And this is pretty tricky because it's got like a big stripe on it. So yeah, it's about the best you can replicate it. So, all right. So now what we'll do is under this white concrete right here, you want to place yellow concrete right there and right there. So it's like that for the ribbon. You place black concrete in the middle. And do the same on the other side. just like that and then now we're done with the stripe right there finally <laughs> so yeah and then basically what you want to do is fill this all in with black concrete right here just fill it all in alrighty and then right here you only want to place two blocks of black concrete and then place bedrock all the way down like that then place black carpet on top of the bedrock, so it's like that. Alrighty, now do the same on this side. And sorry I didn't upload at all this weekend. I was at my grandma's house and I couldn't really upload there, so yeah. Alright, and then do the bedrock here once again. Just like this. Alrighty, and then fill this part in with black concrete right here, then make a pillar of black concrete going all the way up right there, like that. Then right here you want to place white concrete right there, and then blue concrete like this. And basically over here you want to just make it almost all blue concrete, so just fill it in. Same on the other side. Just like this. And then fill it in on the roof like this. So it's like that. Alright. So now once again you'll grab your bedrock. Oh, I just threw it. Don't do that. <laughs> and what you want to do right here is play it, break two blocks and place bedrock right here. So it's one block from the cab, just like that. And then you go up one block and place, break three blocks right there and place bedrock right here. Just like that. And place blue carpet on top of it. Just like this. And then place a cement slab right there. Yeah. Alrighty, so now on this side we'll make this little part right here. So what you want to do is grab some black concrete, 
like that, a 1x2, and then you want to place some TNT right there, and then some blue concrete like that, and then grab some stumber stairs, place them like that. Alrighty, that's that part. Now we'll do the roof. So hopefully it's looking like this so far. And we'll add some banners later, but yeah. Alright. So what you want to do is grab a dark oak fence gate, place it right here on top of this white concrete right there. And then grab a nether brick slab, place two scuba block, place two scuba block, just like that. Alrighty, just like that. And then, now we will make the banners. So, there's a lot of banners to make on this. So, yeah. So first we'll make these stripes right here. So you want to grab a crafting table, some bone meal, some ink, and also black banner, blue banner, and white banner. Just like that. So place your crafting table down. So first what you want to do is place your white banner in this on, on the top like that. And place an ink sets at the bottom so it's like that. Then make it in the across the center like that. And then across the top like, like that. Alrighty, now we'll make the letter N. So first what we'll do is get a black banner place some bone meal going like this on the side and then going across like that and then on the other side like this then you want to surround that with ink sex just like that alrighty now we'll make the letter S right there so what you want to do is grab your white banner once again place it at the very top grab or no black banner I'm sorry yeah, a black banner. So place that at the very top, and then have bone meal going across the bottom, like that. Then place it right there, and then have bone meal going diagonal, like that. Then bone meal across the top, like that. And then surround it with ink sets. That's the NS logo. So now we'll make this somewhat horse logo. <laughs> So first what we'll do is we'll grab a white banner, you want to place it right there, and then surround it, or make it like this with ink sex, so it's a diamond, like that, and then place it right here, and have ink sex going diagonal through it, and then surround it with bone meal, like that. Alrighty, and now we'll make this right here. So first what you want to do is basically grab a black banner, place bone meal at the bottom, then in the center, and then on the top, and then you want to place it right here and grab ink sets and make it like that. So it looks like that. Then we'll do that again, but it's like opposite, so just do it the same thing again. Alrighty. Now I'll do it on this side, like so it's like that. Alright, so now we'll <clears throat> now we'll make these stripes right here. So to place a grab a black banner, place a place a white bone meal at the bottom, and then in the center, and then on the top like that. So it looks like this. And then we'll do one that has blue stripes. So you want to grab a blue banner, place bone meal on the bottom, bone meal in the middle, and then bone meal on top like this. Alright, that's all the banners I believe we have to craft, so what you want to do is <clears throat> you want to come to the back right here, grab this banner, 
place it right here like this and then grab this banner and place it like that so it looks like that do it on this side also then just grab a regular old black banner and place it right here so you don't see the bedrock showing through and yeah all right now on this side we'll skip a block from this banner and then you want to place the n and then the s then you want to place the horse logo right here and then two stripes of the black banner like that now to do the same on the other side just like this alrighty and then we'll come to the front right here and we'll do these right here so grab this blue banner place two of them right here and then place your horse in the middle like that all right oh now we have to craft one more banner we'll make the door for the back right here so what you want to do is get some lapis lazuli just like this I also grab some gray dye so you want to grab a black banner place it right there and place your gray dye like this and then surround it with lapis lazuli then make it so it's like this and then place it on the back right here for the doors just like that Alrighty. So now we're almost done with this train. We just have to make the handrails. So what you want to do for that is grab some black stained glass panes and place two right here going up just like this. Like that. And then place two right there also. Place string right there. And only place black carpet on top of the string and not on top of these uh, paintings right here. You want to grab some netherite slabs to place it on top of this glass right here and have it li like that. And that's basically the chain that hang hangs down from it. <clears throat> Alright, and then go to the back right here and do the same exact thing. Alrighty, just like that. Alright, and then we'll do the handrails on the side of it. So place your black stained glass and the pane in the corner right there. Then every other block you want to place it like this. Alright, and then place string in between each one. And then place black carpet on top. Alright, but then right here we want to place a netherbird stair right there. Just like that. Alright, now we'll just do the handrails on the other side like this. And every other block. then right here you want to make it like this just like that and then string in between each one just like this then black carpet on top just uh, like uh, that all right and now we have the final step we're just going to make the couplers and the headlights so what you want to do here is place a spruce wood slab right there and then triple bar hoods around it like that. That's for the coupler. Then come to the back right here and do the same thing. Just like that. Then we'll grab an item frame and some white stained glass. Place two item frames right there with white stained glass inside it. Then come to the front right here and make the ditch lights like that. Alrighty, so there you go. Now you have successfully made a Norfolk Southern Heritage Unit. Congratulations. <laughs> so, 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a like, and if you do enjoy my other tutorials, please do sure to, to be subscribed, and yeah, thank you, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace!